Hello. Thorold Dickinson was one of the most adventurous figures in early British cinema, and he and his pictures deserve to be better known today. This stunning film, which is based on a short story by the great Russian writer Alexander Pushkin, is one of the few real classics of uh, supernatural cinema. Hey guys, welcome back to Pillbox Movies. I'm Hank, and today we're going to be watching the 1949 British horror movie, The Queen of Spades. This is based on a story by Alexander Pushkin. It's directed by Thorold Dickinson and stars Edith Evans, Anton Walbrook, and Yvonne Mitchell. This is a movie that I've been wanting to watch for a long time. It's been highly recommended by Martin Scorsese and is apparently highly touted as a kind of supernatural thriller, a ghost story, who knows? But I've looked at some of the images from this movie and I have to say, its visual style is sumptuous and really, really alluring. So I had no choice but to check it out. We don't really see movies like The Queen of Spades mentioned as much or as often in the kind of greatest films of all time lists, but it's important to kind of find these hidden gems and really explore what they have to offer. So yeah, let's watch The Queen of Spades. And before we get started, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe for more old, obscure, and art house films. Anton Walbrook, you may know from The Red Shoes, as well as Max Ophel's uh, film, La Ronde, and Yvonne Mitchell. I've only ever seen her in one other movie, but she's also featured in Sapphire, the uh, British B-movie? Pulp movie? Race movie? Its lines are a little blurred. Faro's the game that they're playing. One of these was the evil influence of the Queen of Spades. There she is. For heaven's sake, didn't play the Queen of Spades. This is the kind of intro to a movie that we don't I see win. as often, but uh, like the soldiers' quarters. This is how um, movies of this era that showcase like glamorous or old world kind of lifestyle, a lot of them begin like this. Anna Karenina, for example, the 1935 version, maybe the 1949 version as well. Uh, La Ronde starts in the soldier's quarters, obviously, or it starts on the pier, but it goes into the soldier's quarters. Getting the bed. Oh, have a glass of wine first. Oh, my yes, Pega. Oh, never mind. A whole year. Hey, why doesn't he play? Yes, you, sir. And there's Anton Walbrook. Of the engineer's quarters of their own. Pause. Don't listen to him, dear money. So we're already beginning to see kind of a, a class distinction with between this character and the others. The other characters are officers, and he's a, a captain of the engineers. And this is a very different role for Walbrook to be playing from what I've seen him, him in, obviously, with uh, the Red Shoes and with Laurent. In the Red Shoes, he plays... Um, Lermontov, that's right, Lermontov. He plays Lermontov in The Red Shoes. He's also in Colonel Blimp, but I haven't seen that yet. And he plays the uh, Master of Ceremonies in La Ronde. Uh, very kind of high-status characters. Uh, very chilly and isolated characters. But here we see an opportunity for him to um, display that same kind of chilliness of character, but in a more kind of bedraggled, hungry, um, aspirational character. And to see that kind of chilliness attuned to hunger and to, to trickery, to ploy. I want an answer to my question. Stop it, Fiona. Captain Subordinate is here as my guest. Is it right not to play if he doesn't care to? It's amazing this is the same year as the Red Shoes. He looks completely different. Play interests me very much, but I cannot afford to risk the necessary in the hopes of winning the superfluous. Brilliant, brilliant, like line readings from Walbrook. He's definitely an actor I look to to kind of understand uh, differences in tempo, differences in delivery. Really kind of interesting idiolect. And we get kind of. Um, woven into the narrative that this is going to be a story that mixes kind of mixes into the uh, earthy and into the the sanguine they they're drinking they're 
dealing cards and they're watching this kind of very sensual dance while uh, Savorin is disgusted. We can kind of see that this is going to be the kind of story that he'll find himself enmeshed in. And a cue perhaps that this is the kind of old world that he's going to be interacting with. This kind of folk world of the supernatural and the superstitious. But it is true that the old countess had the secret of how to win at cards. It's certainly true that on one occasion she won an immense amount of money. Yeah, see, this is an example of the kind of like beautiful photography work that I uh, became so attracted to in this movie. Framing the soldiers in that bottom window and then coming up to Walbrook with also the buildings in the reflection of the mirror. Just a lot of visual interest. I'm sorry about Fyodor Pavlovich's behavior tonight. I, uh, I came to apologize. Thank you. You never blame anyone, do you? No, not if I can help it. I believe all human beings are fundamentally good. I'm convinced of it. That's something that a rich person can, yes, can afford, and, and, a belief a rich person can have. I'm not interested in problems of good and evil. Mm -hmm. To me, they're beside the point. I've had everything I want out of life. God's been very good to me. Everything a man could want. <laughs> Well, I haven't. <laughs> They've done a lot to establish how different Hermann is from all the other characters. All the other characters are drinking, or philandering, or partying. In a way, this character is like a short story version of Raskolnikov. An aspiring ubermensch. Yeah, we see a lot of kind of uh, repeated motifs of reflections in this. This is a very rare book. That's why I had it just propped up there. Tells of strange things that some say are better left alone. I love how beautifully, beautiful, beautiful, asymmetrical wolf. these shots are. That's a lot, I just know. look at all these slants and diagonals. If people who believe in things neither looked for nor heard of. Containing the true stories of people who sold their souls. Chapter 4. The secret of the cards. The Count de Saint Germain arrived in St. Petersburg. Oh my God! He chose for his it's residence just beautiful. a palace on the outskirts of the city. Soon there were strange rumors about the weird dwelling and its mysterious occupants. I don't know if that was like a shot of a real house with like, um, like a a cell background, or of a miniature. But there's all these little kind of design elements to make things just seem just slightly off, just slightly out of place. What are you doing? <sighs> production design, production design, production design. Common thief parading as a So many gentleman? different design elements. Care, madame, with your Such brilliant kind of maximal Russian design, European design. Anna, Books, paintings. Wallpaper, wall designs, don't really know what to call it. Chess boxes and all of the kind of little intricate details. Like rugs and curtains. She was haunted by the fear of scandal. She had no alternative but to answer the mysterious summons. Nothing else could save her. She would she went to the Dolgoruki Palace. I love the kind of angles this camera placement takes. Just like, not trying to create symmetrical images for the most part, trying to keep everything off balance and slanted. Saint-Germain gave her the secret of the three winning cards. In return, she made a solemn vow that no mm. one else would ever know the secret. Holy Virgin, have mercy. Have mercy on me. And in kind of an interesting fashion, um, oh Jesus, what did I just watch? Um, oh, I just watched The Virgin Spring again. And uh, in, in kind of a similar fashion, when was Virgin Spring actually? Virgin Spring... Virgin Spring was after Rashomon, never mind, it was a long time after this. The two movies are in dialogue with the idea of um, kind of like dueling religions or theologies. The idea that there's kind of um, these, uh, on the substrata of the, of the earth, there's these kind of combustible, battling 
factions of of religious beliefs that are coming to grips with each other with the virgin spring we see this with kind of christianity as like a a new religion overtaking the nordic countries and stuff but underneath the surface there are kind of these these entreaties to the old gods the pagan gods the nordic gods and um i forgot the character's name but the servant in in the movie uh warships uh, Odin and entreats Odin to punish her master, and that's actually how the story, the plot of the Virgin Spring starts. And it's an interesting kind of um, enmeshment because arguably it starts uh, with the servant servant's prayer to Odin, but the 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 daughter actually goes on her journey to go to the church, to go to the Christian church, and so. You don't actually see one religion or the other as kind of like the root cause of this event. Both are kind of simultaneously driving it to happen. And in this, we kind of see the, this um, these battling theologies of of Christianity, of course, as present in, in uh, Countess Renovskaya's entreaty to the Virgin Mary, uh, do battle with what might be ostensibly the devil from their Christian perception, the devil, but perhaps is some sort of um, older religion or older belief system, um, some sort of pagan or superstitious or supernatural kind of um, belief system that the Romani believe in, or or that um, or that Saint Germain is studying these kind of these these old gods that to a Christian's eyes, look like the devil because they are foreign, because they are unknown. Accept this pledge. Look at this, this, these wonderful ideas. Shooting the table through a glass so that you see all these actions from the bottom. The three cards in succession. She won a fortune. Countess Ranievskaya. Is she still alive? I love how slowly this movie's going, how much, how slowly it's taking its time, and how slowly it's allowing Anton Walbrook to perform. Anton Walbrook is a kind of actor I think you really need to give the time to. He really, really excels in the slowness. That's a beautiful transition. That's so creative, showing just the passage of time with his marching. Waiting for her face to show. Yvonne Mitchell from Sapphire. Why do you come creeping into the room? Now, would it not be better for me to go? Go? I really appreciate this blocking. Go, this is a really nice kind of is way to frame both of them in this conversation. For taking you a poor orphan into her care. You cannot want me here if you think I wish for your death. <laughs> and you speaking of framing, like this, right? oh my Who god. Intending to captivate. What are you doing there? I'm not there, I'm not there. Close it. Close it, I'd say close it. There it is. Okay, so now she knows the location of the key so that, so that she can allow Herman in later. We've gotten a nice kind of, like, um, cue to what will happen in the plot. I love you to distraction. Your dark eyes have driven away my rest in peace. Would that window be from the same region? And again, the image of the hair is so beautiful. So... If you could, but Such good framing! Like, what a great angle to see this girl's face, this actress's face. We'll see how it develops further, but I love the use of reflections and staring at, a, at, at mirrors in this movie. Because the characters are hiding from us, they're turning their backs to us, withholding their emotions, but the use of these mirrors and these reflections allow us to see deeply, deeply into their souls at the moment they decide to turn from us. And I'm loving these transitions. These transitions comment on the kind of emotional space so well. He's ensnaring her like a spider, and she's caught in the web. 
Anton Walbrook in a high collar? Iconic. I'd be waiting for you at the entrance of the opera house. Girls down bad. What? Beautiful! Beautiful framing! Theodore is going to make an entreaty for Andre. If you don't meet me tonight, I shall kill myself. Oh my god. And you will be responsible for my death. Oh, it's that kind of flirtation, is it? So you're Dobrinsky's grandson. Yes, but I should never have known it. He was the handsomest <laughs> man in the Imperial <laughs> this Guard. This bitch! This is really gonna happen. You hear? Oh, fuck. Listen, Zaveta. I don't doubt it. If They're a hot future, couple. Zaveta, if I cannot go on seeing you, there's only one solution for me death. Yes, I'd rather die here at your feet. <laughs> These Russians, man. You. No, please let me go now. I love you. Do you believe me? <laughs> and do as I say. They tell me how to find my way inside the house. Delicious. This manipulative motherfucker. He's too good. Now come now. You've been waiting for me at the ball. I can't imagine how long the Youth Evans hair and makeup was. Look at that hair. Are they literally brushing away the snow on her walk to the carriage? Eat the rich. Holy, whole ass eat the rich. No, don't set the dog loose. This is such an interesting look from what I've previously seen of Anton Walbrook. Getting to see him be so active and so, like, uh, fearful and so, um, like, mousy. It's great. It really reminds you that actors are actually actors, and not just playing like the most glamorous versions of themselves on screen. Dickinson loves his hands. I cannot sleep. I cannot sleep. God be with you. May the power of the Holy Cross protect you. Just so opulent. Just so gorgeous. I, I guess what I was saying is like, I, I, I'm sure Scorsese responded to like the <laughs> revealing of this kind of very frail, uh, small woman underneath this huge, kind of huge carapace. This huge construction. Yeah, there he is. Holy Virgin. Don't cry out! Don't be alarmed! Please, don't be alarmed! I love the use of the clock to set the tension of the scene. That's all. Fable. She'll die if she dispels the secret. It'll cost you nothing, but to me, it will bring happiness. Names He's German. The three cards. I love how quiet she is in this. She's been so talkative the rest of this movie. Just think those the tension of her not speaking in this moment. I go. What good is the secret to you? Oh, and I love how it. desperate for your Anton Walbrook is. It makes you do great things, I tell you. It's such a tense scene. If only I had money. Of such smallness. I'll take your sin upon my own soul. Oh, this is so good. Speak to me, you old thing. I'll ask for the last time. Are you going to tell me the secret of the cards? Or are you not? The clock ran out. What the fuck? Did she die? Oh, 
his face. Absolutely beautiful. My love of Anton Walbrook just gained enormously. Gilman? What has happened? I... I have been to the Countess' room. She's dead. What did you say? What are we going to do? The boy's no good for you. You wanted her secret? It was the reason for your vigils outside my window. She cheated me. Your letters. Your delicious Anton. Was within my your lies. So good. Your lies. These two are so good. Oh, what have I done? <laughs> no. She got trapped in that dick sand, man. I understand, but... The whole human history of... of storytelling... wishes to impart on us one lesson. It's to not... if we can help it... be in love with the wrong person. Not that dressing table. Whoa. Oh. Oh. Why did her why did her eyes change? And I like how his escape is also structured around books, because that was also his entryway into this. Or like the detail of just having the snow on his on his boots. Like that's a good that's a good design detail. Not every movie would do that, I assure you. Just beautiful, beautiful little pusher. Just so intense. These two have a real bond. Oh man. Bond be <laughs> between um Hermann and Countess uh, Countess um Neurosky. Oh God! The use of eyes in this movie. Jesus Christ. I'm just absolutely terrified where this for where this is heading. No me gusta. This is why you don't make bargains to take on the sin on your own soul. <laughs> no! 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 I wasn't expecting to be genuinely freaked out by this movie. God damn it. I'm pissed. Using really simple techniques, too. Just fucking eyes. Just the accusation of eyes. What is this fucking pulse? This movie is magical. This movie is magical. What a well-made movie. To stave off the kind of supernatural elements for so, so long, to keep it until the final act, just being patient and waiting and waiting for it to breach the surface. This is like the feeling of watching Hereditary for the first time. To just watch all this stuff that's been kept... ...pushed under the surface, come bursting out. I am commanded to grant your request on the condition... That you take on my sins. Oh, was it that? And you can hear her walking away. And that that was a uh, that was a character detail that's been kind of uh, focused on earlier in the film, 
the way that she walked to her um to her seats in the uh, opera they focus specifically on the sound that her dress made on the floor That's a really good movie. That's a really, really, really good movie. Three. Seven, Seven. Ace. Ace. Do I still remember the phone number from Licorice Pizza? Four seven eight Seven four five six eight. Four five six. six, six. Such a different fucking look for Anton. I'm buzzing. Please, Avieta, listen to me. Please, please. These two are so me. hot together. I, when I, first saw it, the made my plans. I can't help it. I can't. <laughs> Walbrook has such good chemistry in this movie with Yvonne Mitchell and with Edith Evans. Two very, very different relationships. But two very, very and intense connections. You to be my wife. You're nothing but a murder to me. For tonight, I shall commit a vast fortune. These two are so hot together. I despise. These two are so hot together. You fool. But you'll come crawling tomorrow, I tell you, with all the rest of them, begging for admission to my house. And she's left. <laughs> <laughs> and I like for the third time reframing this event with with the uh, Romani song. If she bends down, you have to drink it. You have to take it. You have to. Ooh, he's entered into the game now. Uh, I'll make you pay for this. How much? 47,000 rubles. Whoops. You accept? The mantelpiece oh, yes, is yes, the, of a similar design to the one at, um, at the, um, castle, the one that Saint-Germain was at. Oh no, he's got money now. He's on our level. What are we supposed to do? Our systemic advantages have now been crushed. I was not prepared to play on such a scale tonight. I must ask you to accept my note of hand. Fucking rich people. Fucking rich people. Fucking rich people. Fucking rich people. Are we sure? Are we certain? Are we certain? Garamon is the bad guy in this situation? I win. Yep. I win. Another one. Very well. How much? 94,000. Oh! Oh! Is he going to play the queen instead of the ace? Your win. It turns out Faro is a win. <laughs> pretty simple game. Your win. I love Your these win. cards. And the last one? 188,000? <laughs> I accept. Oi, 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 oi. Oh, I didn't even notice they were making out the 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 numbers that he was supposed to choose. The uh candles, there were three candles. The the um uh, the pipe was in the shape of a seven. I had no idea. My win. Your win. Keep going, keep going. My win. Your win. Simple game made deceptively tense. My win. Your. Ace wins. Your queen has lost! <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. This is why you marry the girl. Your queen has lost! Oh man. My man, Matt Damon, down 47,000 rubles now. Down four stacks of high society. Three, seven, 
I really wouldn't feel good if I was in Andre's position. Literally, literally just like robbed my poor friend of all of his savings. Not even his savings, his fucking like, his, his huge loan. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. She bought all the birds to set, be set free. Oh, that was fun. That was really, really fun. That was really, really great. That was really good. That was really great. That was really good. I'm very happy with that. Oh, man. It, it built up to a real fever pitch with his two encounters with, uh, with the Countess, Renaskaya. Like, oh, just two deliriously pitch-perfect sequences in in her chambers and then later in his oh that's a nice kind of like reflection that happens too that their two encounters happen within each other's chambers that's cool i didn't even uh, remark on that but yeah um this was a beautifully designed film a beautifully shot film telling a haunting story there's just so much going on that i really really appreciate but just on an initial blast right now what i'm really buzzing on what i'm really high on is anton walbrook's performance his phenomenal performance and the phenomenal phenomenal chemistry he had with yvonne mitchell and especially with e edith evans just like tearing up the screen with just like violent visceral human connection a connection of of intense need intense need on like Yvonne Mitchell's character's part on Lizavieta's Liz part an intense need on on German's part for for Countess Renaskaya just like beautiful performances beautifully colored kind of relationships and intensity yeah I really I really enjoyed this a lot a lot a lot a lot I can really see visually or design wise I can see why uh Martin Scorsese liked likes this movie a lot and thematically or narratively I can see why he would like it too. It's the story of a a man who lapses in faith to try and like try and usurp his his rich dominant friends and seeing the fallout of that. A man who uh, turns his back on heaven in order to find his kingdom on earth and uh, for the most part that's like a lot of Scorsese's movie narratives so quite understandable yeah that was that was the queen of spades just like it'll knock your socks off what a great what a great movie um, I don't know if this is where this is available to watch uh, I don't think it's that well distributed right now but, um, yeah, I don't know. If you're interested, let me know. I'll send you a link. Because I, I really think people should watch this movie. And if you can find it on your own, do so. It's really worth a watch. <sighs> In the meantime, uh, click the like button and subscribe for more old, obscure, and art house films. And until next time... Keep watching good movies. <laughs> but it's also a uniquely haunting film, and I can only speak for myself and tell you that there are many scenes that have stayed with me since my first viewing, and that deepen every time I take another look. <laughs>